you are here basically to enjoy yourselves. Why should the universe exist at all? Have you not seen Nataraja's dance? He is merely dancing, isn't it? It is the dance of creation. He is simply celebrating life. So, each one has to find out how to celebrate this life. What comes your way, accept it and enjoy it. You have to create what you want. Life could be divided into four phases. In the first phase of life, you are expected to acquire knowledge and maintain your body healthy and strong. In this phase of life, you must be focused on education, acquiring skills and preparing for the future. In the second phase, you must acquire wealth, get married, have children, perform your responsibilities towards your family, enjoy the world and fulfill your desires. In the third phase, if you are really fulfilled in your life, craving would have ceased. In this phase, you could be with your family but should feel detached from your family. You must serve the world. You must be concerned about people but nothing personal should be there. In the last and final phase of your life, you should not be attached to the world. This is the phase in which you seek liberation. You cannot just continue in the first phase of life because it would soon become meaningless. Therefore, you must move on to the second phase and embrace its pleasures and pains. These two would soon lose meaning and therefore we move on to the third phase of serving the people. These two would ultimately stop giving satisfaction. It is then that you move on to liberation. Hopefully, if you are awakened, the same mountains, the same stars you saw earlier would look very different. You could enjoy the world and simply pass away from this world. This is the game of life. But on the other hand, you are taking it very seriously. There must be liberation from work. It does not mean not doing work. You don't see it as work anymore. You see it as play. So you must see everything as a game. You must know everything is a passing phase. Everything will come to an end soon because there is nothing permanent. Order will move into disorder. Disorder will move into order. Weak man may become strong. Strong man could become weak. Intelligent people may become unintelligent. Unintelligent may become intelligent. Love could become hate. Hate could become love. This is the law of the universe. You cannot stop these things. So you have to accept them. If you accept them, you will start enjoying life. You will be playing with it. That is the thrill of living. Everything ultimately is like the onion. If you go on peeling the onion, you find there is nothing in the end. Similarly, if you go on peeling life's experiences, consciousness, God or anything, in the end you would feel there is nothing but silence. Life is a mystery to be lived, not a riddle to be solved or understood. That's all there is to it. All things emerge from that silence and return to that silence. You too would eventually merge into that silence from which you emerged in the first instance.